Hello, this is the Doze eJam Support 4. I was asked to make a video of my setup that I have in my record studio with my drums. This is my 16 channel mixer, 8 channel mixer, and there's my sound rack. And it's my PC, and I use a Delta 1010 audio sound card to uh, put in PC. I have a, a microphone kit that I got offline, and I use these style of uh, what's called microphone drum kits that attach into them. And I'm currently showing you one right now that comes with the drum kit. And it's a plastic style, which is okay for if you uh, don't have any other money and you're, you just need to have something to clip to your mic. But dominantly, those, this will be used for the, the toms. So uh, do not use this for the snare. Uh, so anyways, but you have some connections here. You can see that's where the microphone would be plugged into. And then, you, of course, you have an adjustment here that you can uh, take the microphone off. And, of course, it has a slot there where you can slide it up and down and so forth. But next, I'm going to be showing you my uh, snare mic. And the snare mic is very important. I have a, uh, right there, a Shure SM58. And this mic is not attached to the drum in any way. It's actually on a dedicated uh, microphone stand down there. So, and I keep about two inches off the head and I point it towards the, the center of the head where I strike. And there's a good shot right there for you to see what it looks like. And so the next one that we're going to be going to will probably be the toms, the 8 and the 10. And the 8 and 10 have a microphone on the back side right there. So that's where it shows the microphone. That also picks up the hi-hats. That's my 12 and my 13 rack-mounted toms. And this is the 12 tom giving you a little bit to show you the metal clips that I use. I do not use the plastic. The metal one's a little bit stronger. Here's my 15 and 16. And then I show you a little bit of my 16. My uh, microphone picks up the ride symbol, and there's my 18. And then you have another shot with right there. It shows you both of them all combined together. And so, so anyways, the overheads are very important when you're miking up. Uh, I keep two overheads, and I show you right there. I'm in the stereo pattern, which is a good uh, way to set up. Uh, currently inside the kick, there's a microphone I'm trying to show you. Uh, it's a Toa kick mic. And everything goes back to the 16 channel and the 8 channel. And of course, I'm using a task amp for my headphone amps. Now, it's very important for you to tape your uh, mixer board so you know what channels go to what and so forth. That's the kick, snare, 12, 13, 14, 16, 18. And then I have a special mixer channel. That is what's coming from the, the 8 channel mixer. So I put all my drums and everything on that. Okay, this is my 8-channel mixer right here. I'm showing you the guitars, uh, my vocals, and this is where all my uh, keyboards, and that's my, uh, let's call uh, drums. Now, this is very important. This is what goes to the 16-channel uh, right there. So that goes over that way. So uh, it hooks both boards together and says both boards are hooked together. Um, they're hardwired to the PC. Now, the I'm showing you where all my microphones come in to the 16 channel. Those are all from the drums. And like I said, I dedicated what I do is um, I have my overheads are going to the 8 channel where I put a little effects to it. And this is where I'm showing you all my connections. The orange and the yellow right there is coming from the 8 channel. The blue and the black goes to the PC. The green and the orange comes from the PC. You can see the gray and the white underneath. That goes over to the headphone amps. And I, this is where my uh, studio looks like, and I'll give you another shot here in a second, but uh, right there, and that's where I have my keyboards, and I play my guitar and jam with everybody. Well, I hope this video has helped you. If you have any questions, you can always get me. I'm EGM Support 04, The Doze, and you have a wonderful day.